Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Scully with Vermont Craft Tours. This week I wanted to share a couple of recipes for uh, what we use for our Thanksgiving dinner and um, it's coming up on American Thanksgiving in about a week and a half um, and so I thought it would be good the week before to um, share with you a couple of my tips for some favorite things that we always have at our dinner. Um, everyone has their own favorites, of course, but I hope this ins inspires you um, to maybe try something a little different or add something back to your table that maybe has gotten away from you. Um, so the recipe I'm going to share today is for my cranberry relish um, or cranberry sauce, you could call it. I call it a relish because it's kind of chunky. You can really see the fruit in there. And um, this was something I never liked as a child. Uh, my grandfather liked the stuff that you kind of pour out of a can and it comes out in, you know, a chunk and kind of wiggles on the plate. Um, in addition to being kind of weird to look at, um, it was always kind of, I don't know, it was too sweet or something. I just didn't like it as a kid. Um, I think I also didn't understand that it was meant to be a topping for the turkey. Um, so, you know, people would just cut off a slice and eat it and it was so strong flavored. Um, yeah, it didn't go over well with me. Um, but once I realized that the cranberry is meant to go with the turkey, I started uh, experimenting and over a couple of years developed this recipe um, that has really kind of stayed the same um, for the last five or six years that I've made it. So, and there is a secret ingredient and uh, that I'll share with you. Um, it's port. Uh, port is fortified red wine. Um, so that means it has sugar and usually some spices or something else added to it. Um, and it's then it's re-fermented. Um, and this is actually a fancy port. Um, this is the Sandman uh, Ruby port, um, which is nice for drinking. Uh, if you enjoy that as a little, you know, late night tipple. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily use that one in this recipe because you need quite a bit of it. I would get the cheap stuff, the $5 bottle from the corner store. You know what I'm talking about? Um, yep, that's great to cook with. It has a nice flavor and you cook it so much um, that really what you're just adding is that rich kind of grapey um, undertone. Um, you're also cooking most of the alcohol out. So, um, you know, it's not, it mu it's not meant to be a boozy dish. Um, so in addition to the port, you're going to need fresh cranberries, two fresh oranges, um, some brown sugar, or you could use maple syrup, um, some dried ginger, and some allspice, and a pinch of salt. And the recipe, the preparation is not complicated. I will, of course, link um, to the full recipe on our blog. Um, but basically, you're going to dump uh, all of the ingredients except for the oranges into a saucepan and you're gonna put it on about a medium to a medium high heat and just start simmering that down, cooking it until the cranberries start to burst and you can actually hear them pop and explode in the pan. And then once they start to cook a bit, um, then you can turn the heat down and just keep cooking them until all the pectin in the fruit is released and it's thickening up naturally um, to the consistency that you want. So as that first step of simmering is happening, you can zest your two oranges and chop up the zest really finely, and then also juice those oranges. So you'll put the zest and the juice in with the cranberries and the, the other spices and the port, um, and just cook that down. It usually takes mm, half an hour, 40 minutes, and this is a really easy thing to do a day or two before while you're maybe pre-prepping um, other dishes. You can just kind of keep an eye on it and give it a stir every once in a while. And then um, pop it in the fridge. It'll last for a number of days that way. And you, I like to just heat it up a little bit so it's not ice cold um, when you serve it uh, with dinner. Um, Rick still eats this as a side dish. I have to tell on him, um, which is fine, you know, to each their own. Um, but I really like it on the turkey. It um, adds a, a sweetness and a tartness, and then I usually brine my turkey, so that's got a nice deep flavor. Um, so they go really well together. So enjoy the cranberry relish. Let me know if you uh, make the recipe, share your comments on it, and um, thanks for watching. And stay tuned, um, tomorrow we're gonna talk about pumpkin pie. 
So another American tradition. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.